Hi, Fuller Reefers. I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video is on the AquaShield UV sterilizer, the mid-size, which is the proper size appropriate for this tank. What I'm going to do is in different steps. First, I'm going to do the unboxing. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you how the, the mechanics of it, how it actually sits. And then I'm going to uh, try to get a close-up of how it actually looks with a sponge on top. So hold on one second while we go into it. Well, this video is uh, an unboxing of the uh, AquaShield uh, UV sterilizer. I went ahead, I got it. This is in the box that it comes. No, you know, no uh, picture of it or nothing. On the bottom it says mid-size. So uh, I already had opened it. There's no seals or nothing on it. So this is how it actually looks. Let's take it out. Here we have it. Okay. We got the instructions here. Okay, so this is how it comes. It comes uh, wrapped here in a cellophane bag, as you notice. Let's take it out. This is what it's all about. Uh, it does have a connector. It has a connector here from the actual unit. It has a connector and then from here, then you go to the uh, uh, AC adapter or transformer as we call it. Now it's very simple. Uh, these types of uh, UV sterilizer is gravity fed. So what happens is, like for instance, I'm going to place it on this corner where the filter sock is. So these rivets are the same rivets that the filter sock has. So what you do is you take the filter sock off and you just lower it. And then here, if you notice, there's a, a sponge. This sponge will actually trap any detritus or anything that goes uh, into it while the water is going into the cylinder where the actual bulb is in the middle. Now, these sponges, you can actually get them separate. So in the near future, I'm planning, I think they're like uh, two, uh, two sponges for like five bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get those so I'll have them. And then, uh, you know, the detritus does uh, um, get on the top because, matter of fact, every week when I clean the filter socks from white, they're like a light brown. So I can go ahead and order those so I can just wash this, replace them, and put the other one on. So this is just simply the uh, open box. The next video or the next part of this video will actually be uh, where I'm going to put it, the installation. Okay, now before we go to the back section and show you a bird's eye view, how it actually looks settled, I thought I'd give you a demonstration of how the mechanics of it, how it holds in place. Okay, this is a filter sock uh, for this tank. And if you noticed on the beginning of the video, the unboxing, you'll notice that the UV sterilizer, like this, it's got these rivets. Well, these rivets are so like, let's say for argument's sake, let's say that this was the actual uh, divider on the back section and you have another one here. So what would happen is if this, if you can imagine this was actually the UV sterilizer, it actually sits. It would sit on this compartment divider and then on the other one. So it won't allow it to actually go into the water column. So I thought I'd show you that to give you an idea how it actually sits on the back of the tank. Okay, this that you're seeing back here, this is how it actually sits on the uh, right side of the tank. This is where the uh, actual uh, filter sock would have been there. So this is how it actually looks. It, uh, you bring it down here, and as you notice, the water cascades down on top of these sponges then these sponges can be uh, replaced like let's say once a month and for two you I think they run around like five dollars so this is how it would look actually the actual installation well I hope you enjoyed the video found it educational fun informative if you did hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and right next to it, there's a little bell. That's the notification bell. So when you hit that, you'll be the first ones to know 
that I uploaded a video, which is usually weekly. Uh, before I close the video, I thought I mentioned that uh, ever since I've turned on the UV uh, sterilizer, which was last Friday, I'm noticing improvement. Like I actually went ahead and I started to increase the whites and the red and green. Uh, and I'm noticing that uh, when it comes to like cyano or dino, it's dissipating. It's going away uh, quite rapidly. And when it comes to like a uh, certain green algae on the rocks, it's also starting to disappear. But you have to understand that this is the actual model UV sterilizer, which is 11 watts that it takes. If I was to put like an overpower one, it would have done it in 24 hours. So the process, I, I see the difference on the rocks and on the sand. So I hope you enjoyed it. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you for watching. Keep safe and until next time, bye-bye.